Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. My name is Kosi. In case I first time coming across my video, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. On today's video, I will share with you guys on how to make a simple off shoulder bustier gown with peplum flare attached and a stylish sleeve. So guys, if this sounds like something you're interested to know, definitely keep on watching and let's get into today's video. So this is the fabric I'll be using for this tutorial. I have three yards for it and um, I'm going to be using this to cut it out. So right now I went ahead to fold the fabric by two like this as you can see. It is unfold you get. So go ahead and fold yours like that. So right now the total length I'll be working on is 47. The total length of this gown is 47 and the new length is 35 you get and the half length is 16 inches you get so right now because it has peplum flay at the bottom of the dress i am going to remove 16 inches for the half length and i'll mark 35 inches for the new length and i added extra one inch to make it 36 inches for the seam allowance you get so right now i placed my tape and I just marked 16 inches away then I have 35 inches for the knee length you get so right now I extended this line so after this you're going to go ahead divide your waist circumference and your hip circumference by 4 and add 2 inches for the same allowance you get so go ahead and divide your waist by 4 add your inches come down mark 9 inches for the hip line and divide your hip by four mark whatever you have add two inches seam allowance this is the second waist that is the under bust circumference i marked it and add two inches seam allowance you get so from there i am going to connect those points so this is what I did and I placed my tape to measure the total length, the total wideness I have there and I got 13 and a half and I marked it and came inside by one inch you get so go ahead and straighten the line go ahead and rule out the line like this you get so after that I am going to go ahead and cut it off and after I was done cutting next thing to do is to place another piece of fabric by two still leaving it on food like this i just um came outside by one inch i just left one inch for the seam allowance sorry for the zipper allowance then as you can see i left one inch space for the zipper allowance this is the back view so go ahead and cut it out after you are done so right now after i'm done cutting i'm going to cut out the upper part you get then go ahead and slash the zipper area so this is the upper part i'm going to be using here as my starting point so right now there is this simple way of cutting a bust here that i want to show you guys you get so right now i removed 5.5 inches for the off shoulder you get 5.5 inches i remove it for the off shoulder and right now i'll go ahead and mark 13 inches for the under bust you can so go ahead and mark the 10 inches for the under bust line then after i was done marking i am going to mark 16 inches for the half length and i will add extra one inches for the seam allowance so i will be marking 17 inches do you understand so go ahead and do yours like this then after i was done doing this next thing to do is to rule it out with my ruler and I also labeled it as the underburst and full length. That is FL. So you're going to see how I'll do this after extending this lines. So label the underburst, the full length. That is FL. So after I was done doing this, I'm going to place my tape from the starting line to the underburst. I have 7.5 inches. I'll divide it by two and I'll just mark 3.5.2 inches you get so this is what I'm doing dividing it by two and marking the half of the number I called 3.5.2 inches so after I was done doing this on that line I am going to um, mark half of the nipple 
to nipple and I marked 4 inches. So I have 8 inches and I divided it by 2 I marked 4 inches. On the under bust line, I came down by 3.5 inches and I'm going to make a line like this. I, this line is not straight as you can see. Just give it a little slant, a little curvy slant you get. So from that line, I connected this point. So from the starting line, I came inside by 3 inches and I made my curve. Can you see? So from there, I came out by 2 inches. So if you are somebody that is too bossy, you can, go in, you are, you can come outside by 2.5 inches. So after I was done, I connected those lines like this as you can see. So this is not all. From the line I removed, from the starting line, I removed 5.5 .5 inches. I'm going to mark the armhole line, which is 8.5 inches because that person is is a plus size you get the person i'm making it is a plus size so right now i i slanted this line with my ruler like this and from there i divided the bus circumference at 4.5 inches swing allowance i came down and i divided the waist circumference and uh, i marked it and I added extra five inches because this is a post here that's why i added this allowance like this you get so go ahead and um, extend this line and i'll go ahead and just cut it off then after i was done cutting i'm going to cut out the back piece you get so right now i placed it like this and i cut out the back piece so after i was done cutting the back piece i removed the front piece right now i want to work on the back piece you get so first of all i marked my zipper allowance which is one inches and i went ahead to extend this line like this then after that from that part i am going to just have to divide the bust circumference and i'll add two in 2.5 inches at the back then i'll divide the waist circumference at three inches at the back because this is the back that's why it's like this you get you get so right now go ahead and cut it off then after i was done on the upper part line i am going to mark five inches for the neck wideness and uh, from there i removed 5.5 .5 inches i came down and i marked 8.5 inches for the armhole and i'm going to make a slant for the armhole like this i'll use my scissors to cut it out this way then after that i am going to just um, give it a neckline around neckline you get so i came down by 8 inches then i marked it and I'm just going to just have to make a round neckline like this. You can make any type of neckline you want. You get so after this, I am going to just go ahead and cut it and sorry and slash the zipper area like this by two. Then after I was done, I'll bring back the front piece and I'm going to cut out the bust here that I already draft. You get so go ahead and cut it off like this so guys um i lost my voice more well, that's why i'm sounding this way so um the next thing to do right now is after cutting i'll go ahead and notch the under bust line so this under bust line i just notched here is where i'm going to stop my padding you get when cutting at the padding i will stop I'll stop cutting it here you get so it's not past the under bust so this is where i have here after i was done at this point you can give the front piece any neckline center piece any neckline you want okay so from here i folded the fabric by two again right now i want to cut out the sleeve part okay so i'll just mark 11 inches the sleeve is 10 inches so but i marked 11 inches for the seam allowance and i went ahead to extend this line like this so guys after i was done extending my line this way next thing to do is to place my tape on the um on that same line you get and i'll just mark um, the 5.5 .5 inches i removed for the off shoulder you get i marked it and i'm going to just have to place my tape from the 5.5 .5 inches i removed for the off shoulder I'll mark 8.5 inches for the armhole you get so right now i am going to um make a slant with with my ruler like this 
you get i hope you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand what i'm saying please go ahead and watch what i'm doing so divide the round sleeve by two add one and a half inches for the seam allowance then i cut it out i am going to use the first piece to cut out the second piece you get so right now place it this way and go ahead and cut it out like this so guys after i was done cut i went ahead to fold the remaining fabric by two just go ahead and fold your fabric by two like this so right now i want to go ahead and cut out the flip part you get so right now remember i said the toilet i'm working on is 47 you get so i added one inch to make it 48 inches just like this and right now mark the knee length which is 35 inches you get so i marked it like that so i am going to place my tape from that edge you get from this edge right now to the knee length i'm at and i have six inches so i'll use the six inches to make a round curve you get so go ahead and make your round curve like this first of all make it like this then after that the next thing to do is to place my tape from the curve i have there i'll place it at 35 inches then i'll make a circle with 48 inches you get so go ahead and make a circle with your 48 inches and cut it off like this and after that i'll place another piece of fabric to cut out the second piece you get so i went ahead to place it like this and i'm cutting out the second piece this way so guys this is what i had then after i was done cutting this is what i have guys so at this junction you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you like what i am doing so these are the other pieces i have the sleeve the display and the padding with um the lining and everything i had to cut out everything so please watch my last video you are going to see how i cut a warden like this you get watch my last video i'm going to leave a link so you see how i cut a warden a padding you get like this so as you can see i left half of an inch on the upper part for our sewing you get so this was the same thing i did at the last video so the pattern i'm using is the one that the wording i'm using is the one that has shining at the back so that is the type of wording i'm using so guys right now i'll go ahead and start the sewing you get so right now i placed the um the lining the right side facing each other so i pin it down i'm going to seal the both sides like this so guys i went ahead to sew the both side like this as you can see and i did the same thing on the back piece you get so this is the back piece i went ahead to do the same thing here for the sake of time guys so right here i want to go ahead and do the back piece for the upper part so right now i went ahead to place my lining and i'm holding it down with my pin then i'll head over to my sewing machine see the neckline the arm hole and both sides i'll do the same thing on the second piece so right now i went ahead to do that and this is what i have so the next thing to do is to bring the other back piece like this that is the one that has zipper allowance i'll bring it like this and i'm going to start my joining you get so i'll go ahead and place it you get go ahead and place it the right side facing each other hold it with your pin and go ahead and seal with half of an inch like this i will do the same thing on the second piece and i'll be right back you get so guys this was what i had after i was done you can see this is how it's looking this is the front view and this is the back view can you see so right now go ahead and make my dart so to make my dart i'm going to remove the 5.5 inches for my, my off shoulder and come down by 9 inches and i'll mark the nipple to nipple half of the nipple to nipple which is 4 inches plus 1 inch in allowance that is going to give me um 5 inches so from the cut i have there i came down by 5 inches and i'll mark 5 inches for the um for the that you get so i'll go ahead and um do the same thing on this other one i placed it like this the wrong side facing each other then i placed it like this and i'm going to tap on it 
like this so after that i just noticed that it wasn't that straight because i didn't place it well so i am going to just mark five inches all the way like this you get go ahead and mark it so from the cut i marked um five inches you get i came down by five inches and i marked it so i'll go ahead and seal the dot and i'll be right back so right now i'm done sewing the dot and this is what i have can you see so this is the back and this is my dot so i went ahead to pin down the zipper allowance and from the cut i came down by eight inches and i pin it down and i see the remaining one that is left can you see so right now keep it aside and i'll work on the front side with my wording you get so right now to see your wording is either you go ahead and uh, press it with your iron because it's all shining at the back is either you do it like that or you go ahead and pin it just like I'm pinning it now. If you don't have light, go ahead and pin it just, just like I'm pinning it now. Pin all the pieces like this and then go ahead and seal on the tip. You get seal only on the tip. So you're going to see how I'm going to do that. You get after placing, please seal on the tip. I'll show you how you seal on your tip with my hand. So right now, see on the tip like this, just like I just show you guys, see on the tip. So guys, after I was done seeing on the tip, this is what I have. Can you see? So the next thing to do right now is to place it side by side like this. The right side facing each other, go ahead and place it and use your pin to pin it down in place like you see me doing. Then after pinning it down with your pin, you're going to use half inch to seal it, you get. Use your half inch to seal it. Or you place your tape and get your half inch if you're a beginner watching this video. You get, just use your half inch and seal. Do not use more than your half inch, you get. So guys, just see I'm going to do that from there, seal with your half inch. You get and I'll repeat the same thing on the second one and I'll be right back. So right now I'm done seeing and you can see that our buster is already standing looking so 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 beautiful. You get I went ahead to iron it to at the side so it will stick to the dress because of the comb it has. So I repeat the same thing on the lining and this is where I have so right now I place the lining this round the right side facing each other and I use my pin to hold it down like this then after pinning it down with my pin I'm going to as well pin the side the two sides and I'll go ahead and sew it so right now I'm done sewing and this is what I have can you see this is the neck part and these are the both sides I sewed it and I trimmed off the excess lining I was having at the side okay so I'll go ahead and notch the neck part this way so guys, after I was done notching the neckline this way, I'm going to turn it the right side, you get. So this is it and I'll go ahead and hold it with my pin so I will see on the tip so the lining will not shift. So right now I'm done see you on the tip and this is what I have as you can see, it's already looking so beautiful. So this is the back view and I'll bring the second down part of the gown like this, that is the the front side i'm just going to just bring it and i'll place it like this and i'll just um get the dart you get so this is the dart for for the upper parts i'm going to get the down of the down parts like this and i'll just go ahead and seal it you get so make sure that the both lines are on the same line and they are facing each other and they are very close you get so from that point i'll come down the mark and 5.5 inches i'll use half inch for the sewing and five inch for the that you get so go ahead and see your that so after i was done this is where i have i went ahead to sew and join it at the same time so right now i'm just trimming off a little um lining i have at the down part
so guys after trimming i'll bring one of the filet and i'll just go ahead and um fix it you get i'll go ahead and join it the right side facing each other and i'll repeat the same thing on the other filet you get go ahead and join it the right side facing each other and pin it down with your pin and after that i will see with half of an inch and i'll do the same thing on the back piece you get then i'll be right back so guys i went ahead as well to place the dress the right side facing each other both the front and the back piece and right now i went ahead to pin it down like this i want to go ahead and shape it you get so i'll continue pinning continue pinning till i get to the end of the dress so at this point i went ahead as well to face the the flay for the down part i'm going to see it so i fixed this flay with half of an inch like i said earlier and this is the flay and this is how i am pinning it as well the right side facing each other so this is the flay guys then i'll start from the back view i've done the back and i'll start taking my basic measurement right now I'll divide all my basic measurement by two then i marked it and divide what i have there again and i also marked it i believe you know how to do this one as well so go ahead and continue doing yours like that until you reach to the down part of the flame gate so i'm going to replace whatever i have on this other line i'm going to replace it here i marked it like so this is how i do my own shape and this is what works for me gate so guys right now i'm done shaping and this is what i have can you see so this is the flay so guys i turned the dress the right side and i'm going to start retaking the measurement to know if i have exactly what's on the measurement book you get so right now i have exactly what's on the measurement book so i'm going to leave it like this so if you remeasure yours and you don't have exactly what's on your measurement book or you don't have your exact measurement you can go ahead go ahead and shape anything you have you get so this is how you do it so it gives you the accurate measurement you get without your client complaining that oh here you still lose this and that you get so you have a perfect and neat work So guys, after measuring, the next thing to do is to go ahead and fold this down part by two like this. The flip part, I'm going to go ahead and fold it by two. I'll also fix my zipper allowance. So right here, I went ahead to fix the zipper allowance, as you can see. And I also went ahead to fold this flip by two like this, you get. I went ahead to fold it. So guys, I'm done working with the gown part. And right now, I want to go ahead and work on the sleeve. So if you want to make this exact stylish sleeve, you're going to make sure that the both sleeves are placed like this. Make sure that the both sleeves are placed like this first. Then go ahead and place your tape, mark 2 inches like this. So I'm going to just go ahead and chalk to 2 inches. I'll chalk 2 inches here, I'll come down like this and I'll also chalk 2 inches. Then I'm going to chalk 2 inches as well chalk two inches at the damp part i'll use my ruler to connect this point like this you get so guys after i was done doing this i'm going to go ahead and cut it off like this you get So guys after cutting this is what i have can you see that i have like four pieces right now can you see so right now i'm going to notch the upper part so you know the one that is the upper part and the ammo part you get so right now i'll just open it like this and then the next thing to do now is to place it together like this i'm going to place them together like this and i'll just mark one one inches for the folding and after my can I use my scissors to give it a little slash at both sides like this so when I want to fold it, it's going to be very easy for me to fold get so right now I'm going to go ahead and fold it like this get and I'll use my pin to pin it down in place 
I'll head over to my sewing machine and I'll just fold it with the one inch I marked this way and I'm going to also repeat the same thing on all the pieces I have then I'll be right back so guys I'm done sewing and this is where I have can you see this is the one one inches so these are all the pieces I have as you can see so right now this is the facing I went ahead to cut this facing before slashing the sleeve by two you understand what I'm saying so this is the face you go ahead and cut the facing before slashing it by two then after that I slash this um, the facing by two as well okay so it gives me four pieces right now so this facing is for the upper part of the sleeve as you can see it has an armhole curve so it's for the upper part of the sleeve you get so i'm going to just show you guys how you're going to do this first of all after i'm cutting it like this after cutting the excess i have i am going to use my pin to pin it down first pin it down with your pin like this get then see with half of an inch and also go ahead and fold it like this so i'm going to repeat the same thing on all the pieces i have so right now guys i'm done sewing and this is where i have can you see the facing i also went ahead to pin the facing down because i'm going to see that i use my aiming gum to iron it all i'm just tack it you get so after this i'm just going to just have to work on the stylist sleeve like i said earlier so right now i'm just um marking one and a half inches space so go ahead and mark one and a half inches space chuck it one and a half give it a space of 1.5 inches you get so continue doing this continue doing this until you get to the down part so this is what i have guys after i was done so right now i'm going to place it like this and tap on it you get then i'll have exact the same thing and i'm going to make this lines visible like this so what i have there is total of seven numbers i have seven numbers in total like this so guys right now i already went ahead to cut and seal this strap so i'll be using this for the crossing and everything so right now i'll just go ahead and cut out four four inches you get so I'll go ahead and recut it like this. Go ahead and do just like this. Cut out like four four inches this way. So guys, after I was done cutting, you're going to see I'm going to do that. Just um, keep on watching. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So right now, guys, I'm going to bring one of the strap. I'm going to bring it like this. And uh, first of all, I'm going to just have, I don't know what's wrong with my pin. So first of all, I'm going to just have to know, place it like this. Just look at what I'm doing. So from the chalk you have, from the lines you have there, I'm going to be placing it like this. You get. Place it like this like this do the same thing you continue placing until you reach to the end like this So guys, I'm done placing, so go ahead and sew it on the tape with your machine like this. So guys, this is what I have after I was done sewing on the tape. Can you see? So I also went ahead to cut out a stretch piece like this and I went ahead to fold the upper and the down part. And I have like about 3.5 inches wideness you get. So what you are going to do right now is that you are going to place this piece, place it like this you get hold it with your pin so it will not shift you get then keep holding it with your pin until you get to the down part 
it's very important to work with your pin so go ahead and sew it so guys after i was done sewing this is what i have can you see so right now this is what i have and i'm just going to flip it over at the wrong side like this can you see and i'll hold it with my pin so you can decide to use a mingong to hold this or you tack it later anyhow you choose to it's fine you get so i have this like this this one like this you get at the back side you are going to fold the facing by two like this you get go ahead and fold it by two but i'm going to do that one later let's finish on the sleeve first you get let's go ahead and finish the sleeve first so right now for this other sleeve you can decide to style it like this you can decide to just i'm um, sew the sleeve just like this i already seen this for a client last week so this is the video playing this is how it came out as you can see it's fine you get but if you don't want you can you know change the style and style it this way just look at what i'm doing so i'll show you how to style it in another way so guys to be able to make this stylist you're going to make sure first of all that this line you sealed is on the center first then can you see that i have my first job and this is the first job that i marked but i know if you style it like that i'm going to get the result of the video you just watched but you are going to just have to um place it on the second chalk so you have a different stylist sleeve you get first strap you place it on the second chalk then second strap you place it on the first chalk you get like that that is how you are going to continue doing it continue doing it until you get to the down you get so i'm just going to have um i'm going to just have to explain it so you get it very well so this is the second strap after i was done placing the first and the second strap so this is the second the third um strap so you are going to place this third strap on the fourth chalk line you get place the fourth is the third piece on the fourth chalk to your mat then place the fifth um piece on the third chalk to your mat so just look at what i'm doing if you don't understand what i'm saying take a good look at what i'm doing so you understand better So when you get to the last piece, as you can see, it doesn't have a second piece to, you know, cross it together with. So you're going to just have to place it like that. You get, you're going to just leave it like that, place it that way. Like this. So this is how it is. So you're going to just go ahead and sew it on the tip. I'll go ahead and sew on the tip and be right back. So this is what I just did. I went ahead to sew on the tip. So I'm going to use this other piece and i'm going to place it like this and i'll seal it as well as like this then i'll go ahead and fold it down and seal together you get so i'll do the same thing on the second piece so guys i went ahead to do this on the both piece can you see that it's looking so beautiful please subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell to receive more of my videos please give it a thumbs up like and comment i appreciate it by doing all of this please you can thank me by doing all of this please if you love this stylist sleeve and if you love what i'm doing and if my teaching is simple and everything go ahead and subscribe to this channel so guys next thing to do right now is to fold the sleeve by two like this go ahead and fold the both sleeve by two like you see me doing so after i was done doing this I'm going to bring the two of them together and I'll make sure that I arrange everything in place. That is, arrange everything in place. Then, after that, I'm going to just have to, first of all, I'm going to bring the dress and um, I'll place this dress like this. And from this point I have there on the bust here, I am going to come outside by one inch. So the person doesn't want the off shoulder to be that off so i came outside by one one inch at the both side so i'm going to mark this one inch even at the back i'm going to chalk the one inch at the back so i have exact same thing you guess so can you see i'm doing it 
you get and i'm doing it so go ahead and do yours like that if you're making this type of off shoulder if you are making this type of off shoulder you can do any type of off shoulder you want anyhow you want it to be off you get can go ahead and just do it you get so this and other than just carrying out so after chucking i went ahead to place my tape from the armhole to that point and i got six inches and i did the same thing here i got six inches you get so what i'm going to do right now is to remove the dress and i'm going to mark six inches but first of all from this upper part i'll mark five inches you know i removed 5.5 inches for the off shoulder so right now i marked five inches you get for the off shoulder i marked five inches here so from that five inches i just mark i am going to place my tape and i'll just mark the six inches i got at the armhole dress you get so after i'm chucking the six inches there i'm going to place my tape can you see where i placed it so from there place your tape and divide your round sleeve measurement by two mark whatever you have you get so just look at what i'm doing place your tape from this point from this point you're seeing me holding right now just place your tape and mark your round sleeve measurement so guys i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this other one on the second one then i'll go ahead and see if then i'll be right back so guys after i was done seeing this is what i have can you see how it is looking it's looking so so beautiful so right now i'm going to just turn it the right side facing each other like this i repeat the same thing on the second piece turn it the right side facing each other as you can see it's looking so fine can you see so right now i'll go ahead and fix it on the dress you get so if you don't know how to fix an off shoulder on the dress just look at what i'm doing if you begin watching me just look at pay very attention on what i'm doing so you're going to fix it armhole to armhole armhole of the dress and armhole of the sleeve you get just go ahead and fix it make sure that the two lines armhole are facing each other and is very close to each other so from the place i chucked um, five inches on the sleeve i'm going to just place it exactly at the place i chucked at the at the dress as well you get so go ahead and do the same thing like this pin it down pin it down pin it down like this then go ahead and do the same thing like this as well and go ahead and pin it down as well then you're going to go ahead and see with half of an inch you understand what i'm saying go ahead and see with half of an inch then go ahead and see with half of an inch and i'll be right back so right now i'm done seeing fixing the both sleeve and i went ahead to iron it okay so this is how i'm ironing my can you see so go ahead and iron it and it's going to give you a very beautiful look okay so guys after i was done ironing this is where i have can you see that the dress is looking so fine it is beautiful can you see let's see this on my client you get so this is the sleeve a style sleeve can you see it's beautiful very neat very clean very relaxed because i just iron it you get so this is the both sleeve can you see it's looking so can you see so right now this is it this is all of the dress and this is the flip part i also ironed it as well so can you see it's looking, it's looking so beautiful so right now i am going to just wear it on my mannequin so you guys see how it looks like so guys i went ahead to wear it on my mannequin as you can see it's looking so so fine you know sometimes mannequin doesn't give just takes to a dress you need to see this on my client it was looking so beautiful like mwah. that's how it was looking on her body you get so guys this will be the end of today's tutorial if you love this video please subscribe i will see you guys on my next video subscribe to this channel turn on your notification bell and i'll see you guys on my next one bye